The state government has tabled its draft legislation in Parliament to stamp out prostitution in residential areas. Liberal MPs will be given a free vote on the bill, which includes hefty fines and jail terms for operators of brothels in the suburbs. It's the latest attempt by a government to regulate prostitution with a focus on stamping it out in the suburbs. And what we've attempted to do here is say that we can put up and tolerate with some level of prostitution, highly regulated for health and safety re reasons, in very small geographical pockets away from residential areas. Police will be given new powers to shut down suburban brothels and tough penalties will apply. Up to three years jail and a $250,000 fine for operating an unlicensed brothel and a $6,000 fine for customers. But if you are a person who regularly uses prostitutes who are not licensed and who are operating in the suburbs, uh, for second and subsequent offences, you can face a term of jail. Some in the industry believe the legislation won't work because it requires individual prostitutes to register, which many will be reluctant to do. It'll force it underground, it'll force it back onto the streets, it'll force it into the casino. The Attorney General believes most Liberal MPs support the bill, but they've been given a free vote on the issue. It's an ethical and moral issue, uh, and we respect that there are a small number of people with very firm ethical, moral and religious views about that, this issue. The opposition hasn't decided its stance but accused several ministers of backflipping. It can't get through the Legislative Assembly, as I said, unless half of the Cabinet do a triple backflip with twist and pike. The draft legislation will be open for public comment for six weeks before it's finalised. Christian Porter hopes to have it passed through Parliament by the end of the year. Alicia O'Flaherty, ABC News.